let me talk a little bit about the scope of analytics. So let me just say that the analytics industry is just beginning. It's essentially where IT industry was about 10 to 12 years back. We foresee a, a very huge demand for analysts and analytics across the globe. Uh, there's just very simple two phenomena that is uh, enabling this growth, right? One is you have uh, a lot of data that, that is available and stored. Essentially, storage is cheap. It, it used to be extremely expensive to store a terabyte of data about 12 years back, and today it is very simple. I can carry it in my, uh, in my bag and carry it around. So to carry one terabyte around was worth thousands of dollars in the past, which is now worth about $50, $60, and I can just carry it around in my bag. So now I can keep a lot of data. The second phenomenon is industries are, are learning and becoming more and more competitive. The, the growth that we saw previously was very, very much based on few visionaries and few uh, industries having a great vision and following through on it. Now the edge that, uh, that every industry, every aspect of an industry is, is foreseeing and is bucketing their or, or betting their growth on is based on information. Now, you have to believe, there's only one thing you have to believe in to join this industry. That history is a predictor of future. If you don't believe that, then this industry is probably not for you. But if you do believe that, and I do, it's, it's very fundamental. Scientists did a lot of experimentation and said, you know, a lab rat or a mice actually reacted properly or appropriately to a particular medicine and hence it's okay to test on human beings and when we tested on human beings it's okay to now give it to a mass those experiments were happening uh, since ages right now I can experiment on who I recruit I can experiment on uh, which institute is uh, is the best and most appropriately fit right fit for my organization it might be that I am Ahmedabad has the brightest students coming out but for my organization it's not the right fit given how the the candidates who have joined my institute have progressed so now let's switch gears a little bit but talk about the scope whether you are a mid-career professional or a, a, a fresher just leaving your college or leaving your institute is this a good career choice? And I would say, I would send my kids and ask them to join an analytics uh, company or an analytics organization or an analytics piece of an organization. And, and what I mean by that is, it's an absolutely perfect choice. And the reason being, you have this phenomenon of data everywhere. Uh, there is this whole myth about there is data everywhere and, and a bank knows uh, and has about 60 pages of data on you and uh, let me tell you that myth is true right so a bank like an HDFC bank or a US bank has a lot of information on an individual I guess what they're gonna do with it it's hard to to read through millions and millions of pieces of paper or millions and millions of rows of spreadsheet they need individuals who understand the data, who understand the business, to connect the two. So the prospects are, are in every aspect. So let's go through a few industries where, where I see a bright future. Uh, and let me answer the question in a different way, or let's go through the industries where I don't see a bright future. And when I start thinking about that, uh, there is no industry that comes to my mind. The person who is taking my video, who's, who's standing behind this, will also be able to use analytics. And, and they can use analytics to market their products, to go out and say, hey, you know, a person who is buying my product, which is this video shoot, uh, they, they're more likely from small to mid-sized businesses, let me target them. They're learning, they're constantly learning, they're evaluating their own data. So the, the application of this type of uh, skill and craft is across industries 
and it's across the various aspects in an industry. So if you go down, you know, what type of mid uh, organizations exist within an industry? You have the marketing groups, you have the HR divisions, you have a production line, you have a um, purchaser, you have a sales team. Every aspect, even the executive team, they require analytics. They require analytics in terms of who's meeting their goals, why they're not meeting their goals. Every aspect of an industry, every aspect of a uh, function can use, will use, and will leverage analytics for growing and for, for, for mainly three really interesting reasons. The first one is, I want to figure out what is the right a metric to measure and what is the right measurement of a metric. And the most important aspect is, let's figure out what are the metrics that I'm measuring Second part is, let's measure the metrics. And the third part is, let's communicate the metrics effectively so that I can create a story around it, I can create a business case around it. So it's, it's just as important to say that you know, someone is not performing up to par. It's even more important to say, here's the reasons why they are not performing up to par. And the third most important thing is, you know, you're not performing up to par, here are the reasons you're not performing, but also here's what you need to do. Let's test out these four things. And in three months, we'll measure again. And in another three months, we'll continuously measure. That's the theory, that's the philosophy that organizations are engaging in right now. And to engage in that, they will keep requiring the, the professionals who can come in and learn their business, learn their data, learn their technology, and come up with business cases, come up with analysis that can help support them.